Jordan Burroughs. It's Monday, a couple of days before the World Championships. Um, great practice and watching his uh, weather turn on. Thank you. Thank you. How did you feel? I feel good. Yeah? Yeah, I feel good. Um, the preparation from making the team to now, how's that been? Um, it's been different. It's been different. You know, I think uh, when I came back, I wanted to, I was a mix of emotions, right? I wanted redemption. I wanted vindication, but I also just wanted to perform well. And I completely forgot there was a world championships after that, right? So I'm like, well, man, I got a, I got a whole another month of training, of preparation, going back to the drawing board, refining, tweaking little skills. Um, but it's been good. It's been good. I felt in great shape at the trials. I, I feel good still. Um, you know, body's held up surprisingly well for my age. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm ready. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. You, uh, it, it seemed like, and maybe I'm reading into it, so there's a different kind of feel behind your, your World Team Trials run. Have yeah. you ever channeled into that in, in the past in, in your career? I have um, for a variety of reasons. You know, this game is weird because it's, it's, it's either you're Super Bowl champion or you're nothing, right? So if you don't make the team, you're just kind of in this purgatory, this obscurity where your summers are off, maybe go to a training camp or two, um, but there's nothing really meaningful for you to compete in. Um, and so after the World Championships and the Olympic Games, nothing else really matters for us. Uh, so going back to back years, 23 and 24, not making a team, it just, it kind of jaded me a little bit in regards to where I was as a, as a sportsman, but also, you know, was I seeing the end of my career in real time? Uh, you know, and so a lot of the things that I felt was a lot of me just projecting my own insecurity of where I was, right? I'm like, man, is it over? Um, but I was, I was talking about this with Joey last year or last night. It was like, this seems as if I've had a bad year or I've gotten older, but in the last calendar year, I think I, I'm 15 and one in the last calendar year. So it really hasn't been a bad year. I just, I didn't make the team, yeah. right? But I've only lost one match in the last year. And that was to Jason Off, um, who was on fire last season and wrestling really well. So, you know, I, I still feel good. I feel like I can compete at a high level. And the residuals will last for a long time. You know, I think um, ultimately it's like, I just decide when I'm done. Um, not my body, not the fans, um, just me. Like when I'm ready, I'll know. If, if previous times in your career, it seemed like you had a, a clear picture of how and when you were, you were gonna be done. Has that just yeah. totally shifted for you? Now you're just like almost a tournament at a time? Um, I'll practice at a time. It's literally yeah. a practice at a time. When I came back this summer, I, was, I wasn't having a good time. And not to mention that I lost all of my primary training partners this summer. You know, Dave McFadden went to Cornell. Mark Hall went to Oklahoma. Tyler Berger retired and started fighting. Joey, you know, went his cardiac arrest, right? So like we had, we had everything that we knew at the PRTC completely flipped upside down in an instant. And so, you know, I'm trying to decide whether I want to wrestle or not. And then when I decided I wanted to, I had no one to train me. Um, so it, it was it was a really rough time. And that was kind of why it took me so long to make a decision because I was just like, our room looks totally different. We've got really no freestyle wrestlers here anymore. Everyone's moving in different directions and we're uncertain of what our future looks like here in Philly. Uh, so that kind of weighed heavily on me. And I was just unsure if even if I did come back, would I have the tools and the environment to, to compete at a high level? So how did you compensate for the, the partners? How were you able to make that all work? Um, well, you know, Joey was able to get healthy at just the right time. I started to utilize the college wrestlers, Max Hale, uh, Nick and Contreras, which are 74 and 84 pounder at Penn. Um, Jay Aiello, who's a new addition to the PRTC this summer, him and I trained together often. And then we started to invite guys in. Um, you know, David Carr came and spent some time at RTC. Uh, Afto, who will be here, Kinshazi, for Georgia, came down to train with us for a few days. And, you know, I'm just experienced, you know, and, and I say that humbly, but, you know, there's not a single person in this tournament that has wrestled more World and Olympic matches than I have. Um, so, you know, it's ne not necessarily about, it was unorthodox. I had, my, my, my confidence typically comes from my prep. Right, I'm a, I'm a structure guy. Yeah. And so this was completely different. I had to recognize that you don't need six weeks of discipline, tedious training in order to be at your best. Things might be crazy, a little dicey. You might have to just come in and there might not be anyone there. You might have to just get on the bike for a half hour 
and that be your workout for the day. And you just have to rest confidently knowing that when it's time to wrestle, I can tap into what's made me great. How would you contrast, and, and maybe it's a question you don't want, but you're not going to ever make an excuse, but how would you contrast how you felt at 74 kilos at the Olympic trials versus Omaha at during that winter trials? Um, you know, I didn't feel great. I didn't feel great. Um, you know, part of the reason why I didn't wrestle back that night, I came back to the hotel after I wrestled Knopf. Slay called me. He's like, hey, if you want to make national team, you've got to weigh in again tomorrow. And I went back to the hotel and I was 11, 11 pounds over. And I was like, I called him right back. I ain't making it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not making it just for 500 bucks a month. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that was kind of a decision that we made personally, but I... You know, honestly, I didn't feel great, but I think I wasn't in the right mental space. Really? You know, me, I engaged in unnecessary warfare that jaded my mental clarity and didn't have me in a good space, right? So I'm fighting not only Mitch Messenbrink and Alex Facundo and Jason Knopf, but I'm also looking forward to Kyle Dake in the best two out of three when he's sitting. Um, mad at Bo Nickel and Carter Sirachi and the whole entire fan base and that guy in the stands who was yelling at me at the end. So yeah. there's just so much that I was dealing with from a mental space. Like I'm, I'm best when I'm focused, right? Like if you watch all of my matches in the past, no matter what anyone did to me, said to me or provoked me, I never retaliate. It's yeah. just not my style. Um, and so when I do those type of things, it, it's a crack in my, my mental focus and a lack of discipline, which is the opposite of what I preach to my athletes and the opposite of what I stand for as an athlete. Um, so yeah, I think from a mental perspective, I wasn't at my best. But I mean, I, I spent the whole year getting down, right? Wrestled in, at the Kanaev in Kazakhstan yeah. in November, wrestled at the Yasar Dogu again in March. My weight had been great. It was relatively reasonable getting down. Um, but there, there was a few things. I was, my body and my mind weren't in sync. Yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, that was a weird experience just to observe um, what happened in State College. Was that, did you have a time where you kind of lost, um, almost like you lost perspective of how the community actually views you versus what happened in that one room? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Because. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's Penn State, and they're going to feel how they feel about their guys. But, I mean, what... what well, here's, here's the thing. When you, when you, when you are what you consider the top of, food, of the food chain, then you don't really show reverence for anyone, right? And so if you have two people who consider themselves great, myself, the entire Penn State organization, they don't defer to anyone. They don't kiss the ring, well, neither do I, right? So now you have two people posturing and peacocking and it's just unnecessary but i think i think for me it started it all started with ncas yeah right so it started with ncas and my response on twitter to bo nickel just created this entire storm that i i shouldn't have got myself into yeah. right so if i can go back in time i just would have ignored his tweet and it would have changed everything from a mental perspective, but you live and you learn. Yeah. You know, I think uh, I'm mature enough to admit when I've when I've made mistakes, um, and I'm at peace now. Yeah, I can certainly admit. Um, all right, look at, looking at your your bracket, the tournament before you. Um, have you looked at your draw? Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, I saw it. I saw yeah. it. So to both of them. What's that? <laughs> I said both yeah, of them. Both of them. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, both. Okay, so what, what was your it's not relevant now, but Nikoni round one, what was your thought about that? Um, I mean, it's it's not ideal, Yeah. but I think if I was nervous, imagine how he felt. Exactly. Right? He's the one seed, and he had me first round. He was probably like, what the <laughs> heck? Um, you know, so I knew I was going to have to scrap right out of the gate, but but this weight class has a lot of depth, yes, sir. right? Like, there's no scrubs. Everyone's everyone's tough, right? Maybe not medalists and, you know, and, and, and perennial um, champions, but everyone in the weight class is, is solid, 
right? From Georgia to Slovakia to Tajikistan to, you know, Iran, and the Russian there, Magomedov, like everyone is a formidable opponent. So I really think it's, it's about as evenly distributed a weight class as you can make it. Um, I knew it wouldn't be easy. So, you know, I mean, it's going to be tough. I'm, I'm likely going to have, right, Kajiev, Evelev, Nikodi, then either the J Japanese kid or Kinchazi and then the Russian, right? That's a, that's a tough match every single match. It's, it's no different than what I've, what I've experienced in the past. I'm ready. The one thing that is different, Russia upset for the first yeah, time yeah. ever. Would that be Second time. Okay, yeah, Sabalov. Sabalov, 2017. Yeah. So many times in the, in the semis. How much do you know about Magamaya? I'll watch a little bit. I'm curious your thoughts. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about him. Yeah. Um, but I went back and found, I watched a bunch of his YouTube videos and he won every one of them. <laughs> yeah. So that didn't make me feel great. Um, he's tough. Um, fluid, very rhythmic with his motion, smooth. Um, can wrestle. Yeah, he can wrestle. But luckily, I, I won't have to see him to the finals if we do meet. I yeah. think that would be, uh, you know, poetic to have him in a final and have the opportunity to have a big match like that. Is is I mean, it's what we dream of, right? I wish I could have had Sitikov in the final one of those years, but yeah. you know, this will do. Yeah. Um. The, the fact that, as you mentioned, the, the way is, is deep and pretty much everyone's going to have tough guys along the way. That's nothing unfamiliar for you. You think that's an advantage for you? Yeah, I, I do. I think I get better progressively as the tournament, you know, deepens. The further I go, the more momentum, momentum I gain and build each round, I think will only favor me. But I'm also older, right? So, you know, every time I compete five matches in a row, at 36 is it's not easy. Um, so I'm gonna have to do my best to be diligent with, with my my habits, discipline, and my positions, good posture. And if I can get a tech fall and get off the mat, like make it happen quickly. Yeah. Did you feel how, how did your body feel after the, the trials? That was a pretty significant problem. Yeah. Um I felt good. Yeah. I felt good surprisingly, yeah. Um I didn't really get into a whole lot of scrambles, right? Like we were it was a, it was a pretty clean it was a pretty clean um, performance. Five matches there too though. Um, I'll be ready. Yeah, I'll be ready. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have any other questions. Do you have anything, Tyler? Uh, so excited to watch. It'd be fun. Yeah, cannot wait for it. Do you have anything else you want to add before we let you back your day? Um, no, I'm excited to wrestle. I'll uh. See you guys Thursday night. As always. Thanks, Joy. Appreciate it. Thanks.